What's up? Welcome back to ATC. I'm at my local barber shop. Y'all gonna actually see me get a haircut today and see how I get uh, spiffied right on up. So, and so as you can see, I was in need. I'm definitely in need of a haircut. And uh, my my barber is Sal Diaz, as a uh, picture. And of course, you see yours truly, Bitter Aquarian. And Sal is located in Jacksonville, Florida. That's AKA Duval, home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He got three locations. His shops are always jumping, conveniently located within the city. So you can hit him up. I'm gonna put his Instagram page. This is an unsolicited video. I did get permission to film, of course. Uh, this is you know, free advertisement and whatnot. But I just wanted to show just my haircut. Uh, it make me feel good. It really, really boosts my uh, level of confidence up. And as you can see, Sal is really getting to work. He's starting to go with a, I went with a one and a half against the grain which essentially is going to the back generally i go four but i wanted to switch it up this time haven't had a haircut in a, in a while because i'm just super busy so i'm not one of those guys that get uh, a haircut every two weeks like i used to back in the day and whatnot but you know this is good enough for me um as you can see yes the beard is real i'm gonna get it uh trimmed up a little bit at least on the top lip part and so as you can see he's just steadily going back uh he's super detailed super analytical oh there's the equator as you can see, everything below the equator is hot, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. As you can see, we just conversing, we chatting it up, we shopping it up, and this is my escape. This is some of my me time. So as a man, as a male, as a patriarch, you, it is essential that your well-being, that you are well-groomed, that you are well-kept up, and going to the barbershop should be essential. Even if you got dreads or whatever else, you got long hair, still get your stuff trimmed up. Just go for the camaraderie, go for the fellowship. You can bounce ideas off of each other and just get a nice laugh. And it's just, again, it's away from the wife, it's away from the kids, because everybody needs that me time. So as you can see, I'm just kind of cool, calm and collected. You know, I'm just doing my thing. Just kind of, I guess, thinking of a master plan. And uh, this is Fresh Cut. Fresh Cut Thursday, but this video will probably be posted on a Friday. But nonetheless, as you can see, Sal, he's a team to get to work. And you can hear the musical track in the background. I'm gonna just let him kind of do his thing. And then as we get to another part of the video, I'll just kind of narrate it. But just wanted to show you guys, just kind of vlogging a little bit and just kind of let you see what I do. And so if you like the video, you can like, share, subscribe. If you are not a member or if you're not a subscriber yet, well, hit that like button, hit that share button. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Check out some of my other videos that I got. I got a lot of unique stuff on the way. Shout out to all my returning subscribers who actually rock with me. I'm rocking with y'all. We're rocking together. We're gonna grow together. You're gonna get to see this growth, this, uh, this uh, everything come to fruition, so to speak. And so now he kind of got it off, and now he's starting to do the fade. And you know, obviously this is a time lapse video, but you know, looking pretty damn good in my opinion. And you know, we just can't continue to chop it, chop it up. You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. Boom! Look at that, as you can see the fade, the fade is really starting to come in now. Initially, you saw, you know, you saw, I call it the equator, you saw a little line, you saw the soup bowl cut initially, but now Sal is like super, super precise. As you can see, he's steadily fading the hair fading that hairline basically making it look like an illusion like it is not even there that's what i love about his craftsmanship always being intentionally detailed you always hear me say that but it's so important because you are a representation you are literally a branding of yourself as well as your barber so if your barber make one slight mistake people are going to notice that they're going to pay attention to that and that's going to be bad business or a bad rep for your barber and so sal has never been slipped and sal has never let me down and i appreciate him so much for all that he does for me and making it look right. So again, we just just going through the motions, almost there. <laughs> let's go, nigga. Let's go.
Boom! Boom! So now we're coming down the home stretch. Now Sal's starting to work on my beard. He is such a perfectionist. He's such a stickler. And like I said early in the video, um, he is uh, really, really adept to attention to detail. You know, peace out. You know, and uh, again, continuing to uh, to craft this masterpiece. He like Michelangelo. He like Donatello. You know, he like any other artist, influential artist that you can think of. Uh, I am essentially his canvas, and he is just articulating his style, his creativity. It's just. It's the supreme dominance in, of the, in the barbering industry, and I'm just honored to to, uh, to have a barber like that. You know, to get, like I say, to get me right, and so it got me tilted back. We finished doing the finishing touches on the beard. Um, interesting enough, I got about five to six years of growth on my beard. Uh, my beard is not perm, it is not texturized, it is not blow dried, it's not chemically enhanced in any way, shape, or form. Um, I actually used to have a. Uh, about five or six years ago, you see the pic, I pretty much did the chin strap, uh, thin to the face and whatnot, uh, with a mohawk, again, that's way back in the day, so you probably won't see that picture again. But Sal, getting ready to prop me back up, and then I wanted to go a little lighter. I took about one level off my mustache, and normally kind of keep it pretty thick to where I can actually curl my mustache, but I wanted to switch it up. Uh, do something different for the sake of the nature of the video to show some, uh, some more context. And so he's continuing to get me right. As you can see, he's just getting it and just, that's kind of blocking the frame a little bit, but nonetheless, uh, peep the pictures on the wall, a nice ambience to the uh, to his establishment. So when you come in there, you pretty much laid back, you pretty much got some things going on. And uh, it's definitely something that you really, really want to partake in. So it's finishing up, it's getting me where I need to be at. Almost there, we are in the ninth inning and bases are loaded and we are up to bat and it's two balls and two strikes and so we need to get we need to hit this grand slam i think we're gonna we're gonna get this power hit we're gonna get this grand slam we're gonna win the game oh he propped me back up look at it. He, he he getting me right i'm almost showroom ready almost where i need to be at almost where i need to be at we're getting it done all right he brushed me off you know what i'm saying now he's been doing the finishing touches now he's gonna go ahead and put that signature part i always rock the part that's just this is part of my uh, uh physical makeup and i always get a shit ton of compliments on the part on the actual beard itself and uh, more importantly or equally important the uh, haircut now he's kind of you know, getting those nagging hairs off the back finishing up any little thing that he sees he's getting it done we're almost there i'm almost got to be on my way takes a little napkin thing off my neck Oh, he sprays me down. I hate that part. I really hate that part. If you hate that part, like the video. And we're almost to the home stretch. And we are pretty much going to be done. Like, share, subscribe. And I appreciate my returning subscribers. This is Beard Aquarian. Stay for the end because you'll see the actual three locations that we have. And uh, this is the video. So, uh, Fresh Cut Friday. See y'all on the next video. This is All Things Considered. I'm out.